His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ham Ahmed Al Khalifa, received at Safriya Palace His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, where they expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his condolences on the demise of Sheikh Sheikh bin Hamad bin Abdullah bin Ibrahim bin Khalid Al Khalifa, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for the kind sentiments, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and grant her family solace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace a number of members of the Fakhro family led by Dr. Ali Muhammad Fakhro, where they presented a book to His Majesty entitled The Fakhro Family in Bahrain, Merchants and Reformers, which was recently published and written by businessman Adil Abdullah Fakhro. During the meeting, His Majesty the King praised the role of the Fakhro family in serving the country, its contributions in commercial and investment and economic activities and projects in various sectors, its initiatives to serve the Bahraini society and its honorable national stances, as well as its consolidation of the values of communication and solidarity that embody the authentic Bahraini values inherited from the forefathers. His Majesty noted that Bahrain is great with its people and their aspirations, as they are the subject of his appreciation and pride, are always keen on serving Bahrain to achieve advancements, and that with their visions, uh, religious and sects, uh, that they are subject of respect and admiration from the whole world for their solidarity throughout history. His Majesty affirmed his keenness on providing the best for the people of Bahrain in all fields that raise its status. His Majesty the King commended the efforts exerted in preparing the book, which documents the journey of the Fakhro family in the modern history of Bahrain and its role in the country's commercial life, expressing thanks for the valuable gift. Members of the Fakhro family express sincere thanks and appreciation and deep gratitude to His Majesty for the praise and appreciation that the family has received from His Majesty, wishing him abundant health and happiness to continue the march of progress towards prosperity.
In the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the premiere of the TV program Gedha was held, which was launched by the General Command of the Royal Guard upon the directives of National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Ali Naimi, a number of senior officials, guests and invitees. His Highness noted that the program highlights the capabilities of the Bahraini youth through a series of military challenges, adding that it is a new and innovative media production at the Arab level that gives the opportunity for young people to showcase their abilities. He said that the name Gedha in itself indicates challenge and excellence. His Highness uh, commended the efforts of the crew and all supporting bodies, hailing all participants. He also congratulated the top three winners. His Highness officially launched the program, which will be streaming on Shahid platform, starting on Friday with seven episodes. The Minister of Labour, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, held an open meeting with the Bahraini youth participating in the Future Bet a program in its second phase, which is organised by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development. Hamidan stressed the importance of strengthening communication between Bahraini youth and officials with the aim of exchanging ideas and visions to continue building and achieving national achievements. The meeting aims to enhance communication and exchange ideas and common visions to contribute to the Comprehensive Development March. It discussed uh, governmental strategies and youth aspirations. The participating youth affirmed their full commitment to national responsibility and their ambition that it is in the interest of the country. 
The Minister of Social Development, Osama al Asfur, led a delegation on a visit to Saudi Arabia to discuss ways of enhancing joint cooperation. Al Asfur held a meeting with the Saudi Minister of Human Resources and Social Development, Ahmed al Rajhi, and explored the prospects of cooperation to benefit from expertise and initiatives. The minister noted that the visit came within the ministry's efforts to increase its cooperation and strategic partnership in addition to exchanging viable practices and expertise. The two sides discussed projects and initiatives being implemented in both countries in addition to community partnership between civil society institutions and government entities. The Minister of Social Development also met with the Saudi Deputy Minister of Social Security at the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Development, Sultan al Jureis. The meeting reviewed cooperation and partnership in the field of non-profit organizations and GOs. The Saudi Deputy Minister highlighted the National Project National Donation Platform and its strategic goals are contributing to achieving the Saudi Vision 2030 for enabling a healthy life and activating the partnership between the governmental and non-profit sectors. The Bahraini delegation was briefed on the initiatives Saudi Arabia is implementing to enhance the role of NGOs, including the organization's support fund. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Juma, approved a set of development and expansion projects at a number of private educational institutions, following their success in meeting all educational, legal and administrative requirements. The minister endorsed the following projects. Licensing the Sacred Heart School Bahrain to add the secondary stage to the Isa Town branch. Licensing the New Horizon School to add the intermediate stage. Licensing Quest School to add the intermediate stage. Licensing Beacon Private School to add the nursery stage for children aged between 18 months and 3 years. Licensing American School of Bahrain to add the nursery stage for children aged between 2 years and above. The CEO of the National Space Science Agency, Dr. Mohamed Al Asiri, participated in the inaugural ceremony of the world's largest satellite manufacturing facilities and the inauguration of the Satellite Applications and Operations Monitoring Center at the invitation of the Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group. Dr. Asiri delivered a speech appraising the advanced level of space technology in Hong Kong, expressing admiration for the advanced facilities and unique capabilities. He participated in the field visits of both centers, closely inspecting the stages of satellite design, manufacturing, assembly and various tests conducted before launching them into space. The Entrepreneur Tech Program, in cooperation with NGN International, held a workshop on cybersecurity to raise awareness about how to deal with the risks of electronic fraud. The workshop included lecturers specialized in the field of technology and entrepreneurship who presented important and innovative topics in the same field. The program included a series of lectures and workshops that cover modern technological topics and review a comprehensive introduction to artificial intelligence and the basics of serial blocks as innovative tools in achieving technological progress and improving operations in many industries. Participants also learned how to use a virtual reality technology in a variety of businesses, including education, training, marketing, and retail. The program aims to provide young participants with basic knowledge and skills in the field of technology and entrepreneurship. The Kingdom of Bahrain ach achieves a top ranking in the world in ecosystem services, the water resources sector and the mitigation sector in order to adapt to climate changes according to a report issued by USL University. More in this report. A report issued by the Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy on the Environmental Performance Index for the year 2022 revealed that Bahrain ranked first in the world in the field of low vegetation cover and the quality of ecosystem services. The report also confirmed that Bahrain ranked first in the Gulf and third in the Middle East in achieving mitigation of the effects of climate change with a rate of 8.8% between 2012 to 2022. The Kingdom of Bahrain has advanced globally in the water resources sector, ranking 16th in the world. This progress is attributed to the increase in the capacity of wastewater treatment plants and the establishment of new ones. 
All these indicators demonstrate Bahrain's excellence in environmental systems, which is a motivation to exert further efforts to cooperate with all concerned authorities in the kingdom, to improve environmental performance so that this is reflected in the public health of citizens and residents, as well as the results of the next report on the Environmental Performance Index for the year 2024.